Good afternoon, this is Keith Gorse from the County Ground, the home of Swindon Town, where the lads have travelled down to the nice part of the uh, Wiltshire countryside, high up in the stand. It's a glorious ground to come here, you can, you can see all over the town, and uh, although the, the sun has gone in a little bit, just a bit of a coldness about the place, but it's a little bit of strong breeze out on at pitch level, but I'm sure with the pitch looking in perfect condition. I've had a bit of rain here this week, but uh, it'll take a, a nice long stud, and we're hoping that uh, we can topple the league leaders, the divisional leaders, Swindon Town, who are proudly sitting on top of the uh, Division 1 with 31 points after their 2-1 win here against QPR midweek. But the, uh, the nationwide bulletin tells us that Bradford City have not won here since 1977-78 when they won 1-0. So I think it's about time that Bradford City did win. I have a, a sneaking feeling that we are going to do because the, the division is so tight, there's no outstanding teams in it. All teams are of a, a similar nature, so we may be toppling the league leaders here today. But the team news is as follows. In goal for Bradford City is Gary Walsh, two, John O'Kane, three, and captain Wayne Jacobs, four, Peter Beagley, five, Eddie Oudes, six, Darren Moore, seven, Jamie Lawrence, eight, Craig Ramage, nine records uh, signing and uh, well an exciting scoring machine John McGinley the ex-Bolt Wanderers uh, player there's been a, a battle to get the services of John for over ten weeks they finally got everything right and he, he signed for us in time for the match today certainly not uh, a Swindon favourite by a long way when his name was mentioned there was a uh, loud boos all around the ground he has had one or two little skirmishes here so it's certainly a test for John here I'm sure knowing him uh, he averages almost a goal every two games let's hope he can start with a goal or two this afternoon so welcome to John McGinley our new signing he's at nine at ten our little man from Brazil is Adino 11 George Kulskar substitutes today for Bradford City Robert Steiner John Gray and Sean Murray here we are now the two teams being led out and he got a little mascot there with his away kit on with Wayne Jacobs going to the uh, open end where the Bradford fans are and it's young Niall Biddescombe he lives in Clayton Bradford he goes to Larchman Junior School and plays football for Queensbury Celtic Football Club and recently scored his first hat trick football and swimming are his favourites and his, uh, his two favourite players, well it's a contrast here where his favourite is Adino who knocks them in and Gary Walsh who keeps them out so that's young now, now Biddiscombe talking to his father Steve before the uh, the game he has supported uh, Bradford City for over 10 seasons and feels that this is the start of something big with the the uh, the, the off-field team of uh, Jeffrey Richmond and Chris Kamada so Father Steve is looking really forward to the future of Bradford City. Now over to our opponents and uh, that's the home side. In goal is Tony Warner on loan from Liverpool for uh, a month. Tony's been with Liverpool for about five seasons and made a, a first division appearance, first team appearance but he's a big lad. Looks very much like uh, James, the, uh, the custodian now. So that's a debut game for Tony Warner. And two is Brian Burrows, three Ian Culverhouse, four Scott Leach, five Craig Taylor, six and captain is Alan MacDonald, seven Kevin Watson, eight Jason Drysfield, Drysdale, nine Chris Hay, ten Steve Cow, and eleven Ty Gooden. Substitutes for Swindon today are Alec Mission, Sol Davis, and Michael Patimore. So we have the the two men, I think uh, the eyes will be most watching today are the, the two Scottish strikers, the uh, 300,000 pie from Celt buy from Celtic, Chris Hay, 12, ga 12 goals in 15 games, what a tremendous strike rate, and a lot of people at Celtic cannot believe that uh, Swindon, well, it was more or less uh, highway robbery, but uh, Swindon's gain is Celtic's loss. Chris Hay, 23. I'm sure he'll be watching uh, the master John McGinley at 33. Ten years his senior, but this lad, well, what can we say about him? In his career of Shrewsbury, starting with Shrewsbury and then ending 
at Bolton, where he, uh, he was sad to, to leave. He, and his 264 league games for Shrewsbury, Berry, Millwall and Bolton. He has scored 133 goals, so that's an average of just slightly over a goal every two games. So, as we say, and uh, I think Swindon are one of uh, John's favourite teams for scoring against, although I would think that John hasn't, there's not many teams that John hasn't managed to score against, so we're just seconds away now from a delayed start, owing to the fact that there was quite a few fans delayed on the M1 with a bad crash, so the hit and it's Bradford City to uh, kick off playing from left to right from right to left well, a new player Bradford here four in the centre circle Encroachment, that's John O'Kane playing the ball back to uh, Gary Walsh. No problem for Gary Walsh, so he'll be testing the uh, the conditions for how far he can uh, welly the ball down the pits. Craig, uh, Gary Walsh now deep kick towards Peter Bagri, that's covered there by Alan McDonald. And there's George Kulskar playing the ball wide for John O'Kane on the far side. O'Kane now midway in the Swindon half. Sir Craig Ramage. And that's stopped. And this is uh, first touch for Chris Hay and Darren Moore in attendance. Hammered upfield by Brian Burrows. Yowds always underneath it. Getting the ball calmly back to his keeper. Difficult ball to contend with there, but uh, Big Eddie watched it all the way. Walls towards Adino. McDonald gets there first. Ramage. And oh, that could be a booking. A late challenge by Craig Ramage and uh, Alan Buckler, the referee, going to stand no nonsense. Makes a big issue of showing the yellow card. I don't think uh, we have to do it uh, that dramatically, but uh, Mr. Buckler from Nottinghamshire, a, a police sergeant, and I think we should know that. That was certainly a a copper's uh, way of showing that he's in charge, but it was a bad foul and probably deserved the yellow card, but certainly Mr Buckley is showing that he's going to stand no nonsense. And that was uh, a challenge on Kevin Watson. So the, uh, the physio of Swindon Town taking Kevin Watson's Medallion off him, but uh, any road, a free kick. Well, not yet, till the trainer's got off. And it's, as you were, as Watson giving the ball back to number two, Brian Burrows. Burrows playing in the centre of the park with his captain, Alan McDonald, and there's Yao's winning that ball. Watson in the centre circle. McDonald, but Yao's a shout. And that's into touch. Ian Culverhouse, the ex Norwich player, going to take the throw. Jacobs getting a little bit of a shove from uh, Steve Cow. Ball in. Oh, wow. And there's the, uh, the sharpness of Hay, although it, it, was, it was on the floor. He still managed to get a shot in, which. Uh, and Gary Walsh diving to his right to uh, pluck out of the air, but hey, turned in the box as uh, Swindon now again. Watson on the ball, knocking it wide for. Uh, that was Cow trying to win a foul, but ball played, and this time that is a foul by uh, Craig Taylor on Adino. So, a, a bright start here at the county ground. The crowd, I would say, they're expecting and anticipating about nine to 10,000, but uh, the league leaders, Swindon Town, 
And this is OK in driving the ball towards Bergery. Heads it in, looks hammered away by McDonald. One captain to another, this is Craig Ramage. Yowds. Wide for Lawrence. Oh, unlucky. Lawrence tried to play first time ball to Adino. Lawrence tip match, tries a challenge. Oh, that was Yowes just stretching a foot in to get the ball away from Chris A and Moore. Asking the lives when that seemed a late challenge by Steve Cow on uh, Darren Moore, sliding challenge. Ramage calmly to uh, McGinley. Adino, a little layoff, but easily picked up by Brian Burrows. And this is the first touch for Tony Warner. Six foot four, 23 year old. The ball just showing how far he can kick the ball, and it goes from one keeper to another. Calmly played away by uh, Walsh. Skids off the foot of Wayne Jacobs, who scored in the 1 1 draw here last season. Wayne put it in the lead, and then Horlock, who has since gone to Man City, level the scores. Okay, and calmly on his chest. Down the line for uh, Lawrence, but Taylor will get there first. Taylor signed from Dorchester, non league side. His brother Sean played for over 200 games for the, the Wiltshire Club. So uh, he's now playing for Bristol City, and brother Craig is taking over. But at the moment, Swindon in possession a little bit fortuitously. The ball comes up, Ty Gooden, but he can't keep it in, so it's a throw in. To Bradford City, who have dropped a few places, but nil-nil draw, a creditable draw at uh, Birmingham on Tuesday night. Nil-nil, another clean sheet, but by dropping another, should we say, two points. Adina, far side, plays a ball to McGinley. McGinley gives the ball away, but Kulskar wins it back. Good play from George Kulskar. Jacobs trying to find a Dino, but that's easily taken by the keeper, Tony Warner. Too far forward. Watson, busy player. Knocking the ball forward for Chris Hay. Moore. Get there first. Puts it into touch. Interesting contest between uh, Moore and Hay. The ball comes off Steve Cow and into touch. So only uh, okay, and the. Uh, Adino given offside by uh, Mr. Jones from Dorset with the, uh, sorry, Mr. Cock, Cockhill from uh, North Devon with the red and yellow flag and all on the far side. His partner in crime is Mr. Jones from Dorset. McDonald. The two number fours clashing, uh, Scott Leach and Bagri, and it's the Bradford player that gives away another free kick. Brian Burrows on loan from Coventry. The ball knocked down the line by uh, Craig Taylor. This is Burrows again. Does well. Calmly and ball played into space. And this is Cow chasing Moore and Moore puts it into touch on the halfway line. So from their 16 games. <laughs> Swindon have gleaned 31 points and only suffered three defeats as Yowes comes away with the ball and finds Bagri. Bagri not really been able to have a, a run at Culver House here. He's got Kulskar wide of him. Kulskar now leaves it for Bagri. Bit of movement here on this uh, near side. Bagri's got Jacobs going with him. 
Bagri. Bagri again. Tries a shot. Ooh, good effort from Peter Bagri. Well, certainly had the, uh, the red shirted Swindon players there. Uh, transfixed by that little bit of wizardry outside the, uh, the penalty box. And his left foot shot just whizzing over Warner's far side bar and post. A good effort from Bagri, but unfortunately he couldn't keep it down. For the first real threat by Bradford on the Swindon goal. He had options there, and Bagri chose the, the goal scoring one. Adino with a little flick. Colescard getting in. Adino on the far side, but loses out. To this is Burrows turning, centre of the pitch. Neat player gets support from Watson, who now inside the centre circle. Ball played in by uh, Drysdale, but it's okay. To Kulskar, loses it to uh, Cow. Drysdale hugging that uh, far touch line. Okay, and battling hard, does well. Neat, neat footwork by the, the youngster from United. Given away by Moore. Good turn by Leach. No foul, says the referee's ramage. Finds McGinley. McGinley back to Jacobs. Adino. Adino turns. The ball. Comes off McDonald's foot. Drysdale in the left fullback position now on the far side. Watson always available in midfield, finds his captain. Left for Burrows. Burrows down the line, but Walsh gets there first, just in in front of uh, Chris Hay. Good kick by Walsh. McGinley underneath it, Adino chasing Burrows, but uh, Warner quickly off his line, saw the danger, and gets applause from the home supporters. Well, certainly Steve McMahon has had problems with his goalkeepers, had injuries, he had to play uh, Fraser Digby on uh, Tuesday, only really 50% cheap as Adino there, intercepts that pass, got Craig Ramage going in front of him. McGinley brought down unfairly, says... Uh, Mr. Buckler. Alan McDonald, the captain, Swindon captain. What a good buy again for the Wiltshire Club. They played over 400 games for QPR. 50 odd full caps for Northern Ireland. Tremendous asset to the club. Who have only conceded 18 goals in their uh, 16 games. And Bradford have only conceded 14 in 15, and that was 82 games. So they've not conceded, only conceded and in the last seven. Moore, uh, McDonald stood his ground, and big Darren Moore couldn't get at it, so the ball runs into touch for a goal kick. Well, they're still undefeated at home. Lawrence getting in there and lucky to get away with that. Watson gets the ball wide now for Drysdale. Drysdale. Jacobs. Jacobs does well. Got the look at the bounce, but calmly knocking the ball now forward towards McGinley with a header. Play down for Dino. Good and comes inside. Good play by the number 11. Watson, first time ball to Drysdale. Good, good flowing football from Swindon here. Watson again. Back to Burrows. Burrows getting away. Jacobs sneaks in. All he can do is uh, get the work ball away from Cow and put it into touch. This is Alan McDonald. A little bit of words there between Steve Cow and Wayne Jacobs. Moore should win this, he does. Holds off the challenge of Hay. Hay again turns. Yow's next the ball away from him, but it's Cow. Gooden might try a shot, but uh, forced out by Lawrence.
Drysdale, early ball in. Falls for Coverhouse. And a good challenge by Wayne Jacobs on the number three. The two number three meeting there, and it's the first corner of the match. Coming up to 15 minutes of the game gone, and there's Craig Ramage heading the ball away, only as far as Watson. Good ball by Watson to, to Gooden. Culverhouse. And there was the number five, Craig Taylor already. Two goals to his credit, testing Gary Walsh with a header, but uh, easily taken by the, the keeper under the bar. Yows just gets head in there, and Moore slides in. At the moment, Swindon having a lot of territorial play, keeping possession, keeping good possession here at the county ground. Adino. First time ball from Colescar to Beagrie, now Beagrie. Beagrie. Swings it wide for McGinley, but Drysdale covering. Moore. Good play from Darren Moore. But... Oh dear. Oh. Well, I don't know whether uh, John O'Kane thought that he'd heard a whistle from somewhere and that uh, he picked the ball up. So, red face for John O'Kane. That's so that nothing comes of it. Certainly brought a smile to all this, the Swindon faces. But uh, at the moment, Swindon. Knocking the ball back in their own half. The ball now with Brian Burrows. 36-year-old, but uh, certainly belying his age is the ex-commentary player as Moore switches this ball downfield towards McGinley. McGinley with a header. Drones from the home crowd as Bradford intercept that ball once again. McGinley. Always busy, but uh, in the two games he played, against us last season, failed to find the mark. Bagri tries to get the ball past Watson, but uh, the ball not forward. Coverhouse, Yowds over his head, hooks it away from danger. Watson gets in front of Colescar, but Colescar does well, reads a bounce. Oh, unlucky, good covering by Coverhouse, that, that ball almost got through to Bagri. Scott Leach. Back from injury, gets the ball wide to Drysdale. And uh, both teams giving the ball away unnecessarily now. A break on the right, Lawrence has got O'Kane with him. Out to O'Kane. Can he get a good ball in? Put it right to McGinley. Not hard enough. And intercepted by Brian Burrows, that ball. McGinley had come off his man, but uh, unfortunately the pass didn't reach him as more. Plays the ball downfield towards Lawrence, takes on the chest. Unlucky, Jamie Lawrence, so unlucky there. Tight on the far touch line. The game now opening up. Coming up to 18 minutes, nil nil. Culverhouse challenged by uh, Bagri and. Uh, Mr. Cockill had to think twice about that decision. Cow trying to get past Jacobs, Yowds gets in, and the ball spins kindly for Darren Moore. John O'Kane to Craig Ramage. Oh, bad ball by Ramage, and an equally bad ball by Leach. And that was applause from the Swindon fans for uh, Steve Cow putting the foot in to stop the ball coming downfield. So it's a throw in level with the penalty area for Bradford City. Bigger with the neatest of back headers. Cow back to Culverhouse, first time ball in. Yao suddenly in. Cow outside the, the area, being forced away by Yao's. Culverhouse. Knocks it in. Good clearance by uh, 
Ravage, and that was a wild swipe by Watson. This is Coast Guard breaking now. As he tries to find McGinley. McGinley keeping it in. Bagri. Bagri. First time ball into Lawrence. Headed away for a corner by Jason Drysdale. So the first corner for Bradford City. Uh, Peter Bagri taking his time to take the kick. And he's being asked to hurry up by Mr Buckler. It's a good break on the right. And Burrows there was... Uh, there to, not, uh, Drysdale there was to put the ball into touch. Now Bagri with the kick. Knocks it towards... Yowes, it comes off the head of Yowes, but that will be a throw-in. A little bit of a wasted effort, just a bit too high for Big Eddie Yowes. <laughs> Call the house. <laughs> Wayne Jacobs, unfortunately, just couldn't keep the ball in. So it's a throw in on this near side by Gooden. Cow can't get round Jacobs. Kulskar as Yowd clears towards Adino. Header, but only goes to the feet of Alan McDonald, who's having a look round now and plays it inside to Brian Burrows. And in the end, they're forced to play the ball back to the keeper. Yeah, oof. did well to get that ball away from here. A little bit of an ambitious ball from uh, McGinley is OK and holding up now to play the ball through, which he does do. There's Ramage, but that's uh, Brian Burrows covering and getting the ball back. Good play, good defensive play by the home, home side. Watson surrounded by the blue-shirted players, but still gets the ball out to Culverhouse. Good in. Cool scar. Mr Buckler there uh, saw a little shove in the back, so he gives a free kick to Swindon Town. McDonald to Burrows. The two elder statesmen, 70 years between them, the two central defenders. Moore to Jacobs, and that's given away. That's Bradford giving the ball away a little bit too lightly at the moment. And Swindon now putting the pressure on, pushing everybody into the Bradford half, pressing Bradford, but that's good header from Jacobs to Bigger. He gets it back. McGinley, the ball comes off him. Hay, good in. Uh, Hay again, Cow. It's the ball in, but headed away by uh, Yowds. And a bit of pressure here now. Bradford being forced back. Watson, Culverhouse as Bagri puts a foot in, Kulskar underneath it, good header down for Adino. Bagri, can't resist doing his little shimmy, Ramage stretching, just can't get the ball, so it's Burrows now breaking into the Bradford half, Brian Burrows plays it wide for Drysdale, Burrows gets it back, Watson, Um, Swindon content to just play the ball in front of Bradford, keeping possession, but at the moment not hurting Bradford, but that's a foul by O'Kane on the far side on Scott Leach. Free kick. Played in, and oh, that's a bad kick. And Moore just uh, pilots the ball into touch. That was Watson, and that uh, won't get too many marks off his his manager on the far side.
There's the Bradford fans to our right in the open end. Open to the elements. Let's hope that the uh, the only thing that falls on them tonight, today is the uh, is the dark. Round about uh, Appers four. Okay, to Lawrence. Lawrence does well. Great play by Jamie Lawrence on the far side, taking on Taylor. But Taylor comes across, sticks a leg out, and Swindon win the ball back. Drysdale getting through to Cow. Good ball by Drysdale, and if it yes, oh, good goal. So simple. Bradford attacking one minute. The ball switched. The ball played wide to Steve Cow. And he beat uh, Gary Walsh with a curly shot into the flat post. 1 0 to uh, Swindon Town. Well, that's a blow through for Bradford City. It looks as if the Cow needs to play. Just going along nicely. The, the leaders. Taking the lead here at the county ground, 1-0 after 20, 24 minutes. And it was such a simple goal as Bigger now taking on. Or trying to take on McDonald and the Northern Ireland International stretches it out a leg and puts it into touch. Steve Cow scoring his uh, first goal of the season so far. Uh, Yep, scored six times last season. And he was actually the last scorer to score for Swindon Town against Oldham Athletic last year because uh, in Swindon's last five games, they didn't score a goal at all. And here's a goal scorer now, teasing Eddie out, waiting for support, gets it from Gordon, gets the ball back. Cow. And that's just a bit of catching practice for uh, Gary Walsh. Good challenge by O'Kane on Chris Hay. Oh, Swindon fans now have got something to shout about. And shouting that they're going up. Which they managed to do uh, a couple of seasons ago, but came down immediately. There's uh, Lawrence sliding in and putting the ball into touch. Steve McMahon, the uh, Swindon manager, knocking the ball to his player for uh, a throw in. I'm sure he's the happy of the two managers at the moment. Seeing his side leading the table and taking a 1-0 lead against Bradford City. Early ball in, but there was only uh, Steve Cowan, and this time he couldn't get on the end of it. There's Jacobs inside to Eddie Yowds. Yowds. Ball towards Beagry. Beagry with the header, but uh, it comes off the head of Beagry and in, into touch. Well, we've only uh, three players, Bradford only have three players on the pitch at the moment that have managed to find the back of the net. Adino, the leading scorer with six. And then we have Jamie Lawrence, who scored at uh, Oxford. And George Kulskar, who scored against Wolves. Ball headed away on as far as Kulskar. All came with him on the far side. Kulskar gets it back. Watson goes at him, but uh, Kulskar off balance. Watson comes away with it. To Drysdale, who sit down downfield more. Get there first, but he'll watch the ball go safely through to his keeper. Ball played again a bit too strong. McGinley with a challenge. McDonald hooks it back over his head and Taylor down the line, only as far as O'Kane. O'Kane. Good footwork. Into space for McGinley, but Taylor 
Well, he had to put it into touch. Now the Swindon fans all around me getting ready for the pantomime season with a boo in the villain. This is John McGinley. Let's hope he sticks one in the back of the net. Lawrence. Ooh, Adino there with a chance, but it came up dead. I think that was Taylor. That was a good ball played by uh, Lawrence. Adino got his header, but good play from uh, Craig Taylor. And that certainly was going goal bound then. A good chance, good header, and a good piece of defensive play. Drysdale to Cow. Back to McDonald. McDonald under pressure from Big, but uh, he gets it back from Culverhouse. Culverhouse now, a chance for Bradford. Bigry. Wide for Lawrence, good change of direction by uh, Bigry. He's got O'Kane okay with him now, Lawrence, but uh, knocks the ball in early. But uh, Paul a little bit angled away. Well, there must be a message here for some. There must be a message here for some managers. Get rid of your manager and your team immediately go 5 0 up after about, uh, well, about half time it is. At half time, Sheffield Wednesday beating Bolton 5 0. So that, that's the answer to some chairman. Get rid of your managers. But anyway, back to this game. Bradford City, who we, we're only really bothered about. The Yorkshire side are down 1 0 to that good strike from Steve Cow on the 24th minute. A good header from Adino has just been uh, deflected away by Taylor. And it's Wayne Jacobs now with a throw below us. Adino with a slice of the McGinley. McGinley now. McGinley just inside the extra. Oh, and that's the man. It's well, everybody backing off. And uh, the ball narrowly shaving the left hand post of Tony Warner. Well, that was a let off for McGinley almost on the score sheet. A good effort from McGinley. Turned uh, the defender. And then Nutmeg Damon, the ball just skimming wide of the left-hand post, a chance there, and almost an equaliser for Bradford City. Well, that's certainly uh, quieted the crowd slightly, no more booing. Moore gets beaten to it by Hay, but Yowd's covering. Lawrence getting the ball past Drysdale, but Taylor, well, that's a 20-5 ball a little bit early into the 18th row of the... Arkell stand and Bradford enjoying a spell at the moment. Adino giving the challenge of Burrows. Plays the ball wide to Wayne Jacobs. Kulskar turning. Turning again. Good play from Kulskar. Tries a shot. Well, good effort. Not much more on Kulskar on his left foot. Took a bit of a knock. And his shot flying high into the stand behind Warner's goal. And whoa, oh dear. A little bit of misunderstanding with his new teammate there, Craig Taylor. And it's a throw in to Bradford City. Okay, I'm waiting for Lawrence to regain his balance. Lawrence on that far side, turns, and it's pushed into touch by Drysdale. Played over 140 games for Watford, went to Newcastle, but uh, didn't manage a game, and Swindon bought him, and he's played over 20 odd times for the Wiltshire club. Corner ball. Now the big guns come up, Messrs Yowds and more. Beagery will be the provider. Bigger thought of playing a short ball to OK, but decided against it. Jacobs, but hey. This is Lawrence thinking about uh, should he get the ball back to his keeper? He does do. And Walsh, and we've got a 
Yowes, Eddie Yowes is down inside the D. Culverhouse kicks the ball on. Jacobs, I'm sure, will try to hook it into touch. Jacobs, uh, sorry, Yowes. And the referee, in the end, stops it at uh, Not sure what Eddie Yowes has done. Went up for that ball, and uh, Steve Redmond's quickly on. It looks as if he might have fell and uh, banged the, his back in that challenge. But uh, Big Eddie, a big tough man from Liverpool, won't lie there if uh, he wasn't injured. Let's hope it's not too severe, but looks as if it's the base of his back that has taken the, uh, the knock. Stretcher down there now, and he's slowly getting up onto his feet. Well, he certainly wants to. He won't want to leave the the pitch on a stretcher, but thankfully he's up on his feet. <clears throat> and uh, rubbing the top of his right leg, so looks as if he's a okay. And he's uh, he's declining a uh, a lift off the pitch, but he's still got to go off the pitch. He looks if his his right buttock. And Eddie Howes now he's uh, trying his right leg, but we've got more than a capable substitute in John Dreyer who. Uh, Talking to him before the game, hasn't made the the uh, starting squad today, but certainly enjoyed his midfield role at Birmingham, at St Andrews Birmingham on uh, Tuesday, where he played a anchor role in midfield, and certainly he said it was a role that, uh, well, he wish he'd have started at a younger age. He's, he thoroughly enjoyed it, so I'm sure if the big man Eddie, but there he is now coming back back on to uh, warm applause, applause from the the Amber and, and Claret fans to our goal, uh, behind the goal to our right. And that looked like a shove in the back by Coverhouse, which uh, the uh, assistant declined to wave for, and uh, Mr Buckler turned a blind eye to, but to throw into Swindon on this near side. Nine minutes of this half left. And that ball comes off Chris Hay. Scored in the 3-1 uh, win against QPR on Tuesday, McGinley getting the ball back to Beagrey. Tries a shot. Ah, oh, good save by the keeper. He made a bit of a, a mess up in the first one, but uh, he recovered well to get the ball away when Nadino came steaming in. So it's good save by the youngster. More to Ramage. Okay, and towards Adino. Adino with the header, but. Uh, Spins off his ball pace and goes straight through to Warner. Swindon starting off another attack. Taylor. And that should go this time straight through to Gary Walsh, who allows it to go out for a, a dead ball kick. A little bit wondering why he did that. Swindon finished 19th last season and lost six times. But, uh, they still have yet to to lose here and oh, that's a foul just on the halfway line and Eddie Ouds thankfully seems to have got over his injury and he's striding forward now to receive this free kick from John O'Kane O'Kane with the kick. Drives it towards Beagrey. And a foul this time, spotted by uh, the assistant on Culverhouse on Beagrey. Well, he missed the first one, that might have been a bit uh, iffy, but certainly we won't argue with it. Just to the corner of the penalty area, but uh, footballers make the happy, got away with, with one and, uh, and then arguing about this one. But Culverhouse, who's uh, 33 years old, it's Played almost 300 games for Norwich before he signed for uh, Swindon. And coming up 
to his 100th game here for Swindon Towners. Cool scar to Beagry. Ooh, and again, another shot, just narrowly wide of that post. The keeper diving to his left, may have got a fingertip to it if it had been half a yard inside, but a good effort once again from Beagry. Well, we've con we've well chronicled it that uh, Beagry hasn't scored since 1994. November the 5th, but certainly put in two good efforts so far in this first half here at the county ground with Bradford City trailing by that uh, 24th minute goal from Steve Cow, 1-0. Watson turning well, striding into the Bradford half. Lawrence chasing him. Drysdale has the first time ball in, but uh, offside. Signal by Mr. Jones on the far side. Looking at the half time scores here, and there's. Uh, yeah. Not too much happening, but remember this game is a uh, quarter of an hour behind everybody else through that delay in allowing the, the, uh, up the supporters to get here on time. Or oh, don't miss the start. Okay, now back to Ramage. Ramage. Yowd, first time ball into space. And that just about reached Tony Warner. Drysdale let it go through to the keeper. Moore gets under that one. Moore again. Solid header. Beagrey picks the ball up on the halfway line. And brought down once again by Coverhouse. A late challenge on Beagrey and uh, Mr Coverhouse, I'm sure, will... Uh, won't be too far away from the book if he keeps... Uh, Knocking our Peter over like he has done. Quickly taking free kick. Okay. To Lawrence. Lawrence coming inside. Obstruction by Godden. The number 11 stood uh, stood his ground against Lawrence, although Jamie Lawrence recovered to win the ball, but the referee had already, already blown his whistle. So free kick to uh, Bradford City with about three and a half minutes of this half to go. Beagrey with the kick, drives it in. Ah, oh, that's easy take by the keeper. Jacobs underneath this one, Ramage picking up the loose ball. To Moore, who's making his way back to the defence. Good turn by big Darren Moore. Cool scar to Adino, but uh, that was Burrows getting in quickly. Culverhouse. Watson on this near touch line, knocking it forward, but Yowds heads it to Kulskar. Kulskar trying to lay the ball off for Ramage, picked up again by Watson. Cow taking on Yowds, good ball in. Oh, brilliant! Well, what a good piece of football there. A marvellous run by uh, Cow. A ball driven into the near post, and there was Hay almost. Getting his 13th league goal of the season, but a tremendous reflex save by uh, Gary Walsh, keeping that effort out. What a good piece of football. Excellent play by Swindon on the right, but an equally tremendous save by Gary Walsh. Watson just outside the area. Can't get a shot in, but Beagry and offside on Alan McDonald. Well, that was... Uh, Almost a, a second there for Swindon Town. Thankfully, Gary Walsh was on his toes and kept the ball out. So the half finishing off. It's been an interesting half. Not too much to divide the teams, but uh, a goal well taken, but simple in its approach. And there's Beagry. But uh, Yowds underneath it. Getting the ball back safely to Walsh. But, uh, in the end, it was a goal that actually uh, a, an attack broke deep in this win and half. A couple of passes, a deep ball out to Cow, and there he was beating Walsh with a curling shot from right to left to put Swindon 1 0.
in the lead. And the little bit of untidy play at the moment as the half-time whistle approaches. Yowds towards McGinley. Stopped by tail and the ball goes straight through to the keeper. McGinley looking appealingly at uh, Mr Buckler, but uh, he just throws him a blank one as Taylor clears up field. Yowds looking round, but Hayes behind him. Not a good ball for Walsh. There's Leach. McLeach's rather getting in front of uh, the ball, flying about as Kulskar picks it up, turns and gets away from Gooden. Beagley losing out to Coverhouse. This is. Uh, well, almost caught out once again, and that was the number 10 diving in, Steve Carroll. Getting a good head of him, but thankfully wider. Gary Walsh is left hand post. Again, one thing with uh, Swindon is when they hit you, they hit you with the uh, speed. And thankfully this time, lack of accuracy there, but uh, the ball lost in midfield. I'm sure Chris Kamal has uh, been rather annoyed. He's all stamping ground. Chris, darling of the crowd here. The tremendous uh, two spells here. Played over 234 games for the Wilshire Club in his two spells and scored 27 goals as more. Getting this ball away, good play. Gets the ball away from Chris Hay. Ramage. Ramage does well. The ball driven crossfield to Culverhouse. Swindon playing a little bit square at the moment, but they know they must have had the message from uh, the, the bench that it's only a few seconds off uh, half time, so they certainly won't want to give anything away as Warner clears upfield. Yowds to his captain, Jacobs to McGinley on his chest to Beagre. Beagre now, but the ball goes away from him. Couldn't have any argument with that, uh, Steve Cow. Knew he was offside, he did look across the lines, but the lines were a little bit uh, late with his flag, but uh, we'll argue with that one. We're now playing. Time added on. A little bit of it. McGinley! Oof, well, that wasn't too far away. Didn't really quite get all of it, but uh, certainly a couple of instances now in this half. McGinley has showed that... Uh, He's uh, ugly for goals, he's managed to uh, get a, a game for Bolton in the Premier Division, but uh, I don't think he needed much persuading to get back in the firing line. He's put two efforts now, either side of both posts. That one, unfortunate, just couldn't get the, the power with it. Kulskar slides in, but uh, McDonald wins it. Yeah, he's read that forward pass early. Gets the ball safely back to Gary Walsh. Gary Walsh into touch. Referee checks his watch and uh, he will find that we're now nearly two and a half minutes into time added on. A couple of delays. The longest one was for Yowds when he took that knock. There he is clearing the ball up for him. And there's the half time whistle here at the county ground with the, the leaders, Swindon Town, proud leaders of Division One. Leading Bradford City by that 24th minute strike from Steve Cow, a clean strike which gave Gary Walsh no chances, no chance at all. But a good, a couple of good efforts from Peter Beagree and then two from uh, McGinley, just narrowly wide of both posts, almost give Bradford City a rod. I think they deserve it at the county ground. But the half time score here is Swindon Town 1, Bradford City 0. What a goal!
Yeah, I know, just the start of second half. Swindon have made a substitution. Scott Leach has uh, not come on the field, and it's his place has been taken by Michael Pattimore, number 14. Yowds to Beagre. Jacobs under pressure from Hay, switches the ball wide to uh, John O'Kane. Into the gap by uh, O'Kane, straight through to the keeper. Shout from uh, Gary Walson and Darren Moore allows the ball to go straight through to him. Eddie Howes again. Lists it towards Beagrey. Call the house, a nasty challenge on the, the winger once again. Jacobs, keeper comes out, takes it well. Good goalkeeping there, he came early for it. Referee over quickly to uh, say something to John McGurnley, saw something at uh, Shunty Batten. Warner with the kick. Straight to John O'Kane. Good ball. Although the crowd went, ooh, still a good ball. He's played it well. Bigry can't get past uh, Culverhouse. Gary Walsh couldn't really do a lot with a goal, but made a super save from uh, Chris Hay by his near post. Lawrence back to Ramage, into the gap, but uh, that's swept away by Burrows. Good. And well, <laughs> George tried to get away with a little sneaky handball in front of Mr. Buckler, who has a smile on his face, so thankfully he's not going to uh, brandish any card. Ramage coming across, does well. And Walsh has to finish up clearing the ball down the line. So it's a throw into Swindon on the far side. Well, young Michael Pattimore. Yeah. 18 year old. Made a substitute's appearance last season and it's making one today here his first appearance of the season such is the injury crisis here at the county ground as uh, Ramage gets him with the ball not forward headed away by Yowds good and asks for it and gets it Bagri down the line for Adino good break here by Adino but uh, to number five, Craig Taylor getting across and putting it into the crowd. It was a good break. Taylor Dean looking with it. Beagre. Twists and turns. Knocks the ball in. Kulskar. He's got O'Kane okay with him. Ball in. Swept away. More. Kulskar. Does well to evade that challenge and find Ramage. Okay, now. Ball played forward, but uh, Ramage underneath it. Kulskar, Ramage. Some neat interchange in here between the two midfield men. Ramage finding his captain Jacobs with room to work on the far side. Ball played in towards McGinley. 
And the keeper comes, takes cleanly, but uh, McGinley's route was just slightly bungled off by Taylor. And now it's Swindon. Watson to Goodin. Almost. Well, well offside, a good yard offside. Just the fact that the uh, the linesman took his time to think about it. The referee testing the ball and uh, doesn't like it. So we'll have to have another one. We'll have to have next week's. He's quite happy with that one, so the game will commence. Or restart, should we say, with Gary Walsh to take the kick. McGinley, just a bit too high for McGinley, but Kulskar was again reading it well to O'Kane. Okay. Seen a lot of the ball in his opening minutes. Oof, when that was just a... Did that was a foot about Alan McDonald's there that uh, got the ball away. Jacobs keeping it in. Ramage. Kulskar probably did the right thing there, getting the ball away off Ramage, who seemed to be running into trouble. And a sliding challenge by Patty Moore. One two of a swinging play by Ramage. The ball now with Eddie Outs. Bradford all put forward. Trying to find a way through the home defence who are standing firm at the moment. But Lawrence, good play, a good challenge by uh, the number seven, Watson. Moore, good header. Well, lucky under pressure from Watson, Yowds. Uh, all he could do really was to uh, put the ball into touch. Taylor, they made that important tackle a few moments ago on the far side on Nadino. Patty Moore. McDonald knocking it forward. Gooden with a header. Ramage. A bit of hurry pass by. Yeah. Linesman, the nearest one, didn't even raise a flag. I don't know. Some linesmen must only do uh, in and outs and offsides. That was more under the linesman's nose than it was the referee's, but well spotted by Mr. Buckler. So free kick to Bradford with everybody but Gary Walsh in the swing and half. Knocked in by Jacobs. Moore with the header. Moore to OK, knocks it in. Too high for Adino, but can be keep it on the far side. Does do. Oh, lucky. If it had played the ball first time to Ramage, uh, ball could have kept him, but he still had to uh, try and do his little bit there. First time ball, I know he's stretching, but probably in that instance it was easier to have knocked the ball back to Craig Ramage and made sure, but... Chris Kamara there, over the standing up, arms folded, going on, getting on to his players. Well, good start to this half by Bradford. Ball play to Gordon. Taylor, left footed down. Okay, read it well. Play on, says the uh, referee as Patty Moore shaping for a shot. Well, good effort from the youngster, but uh, high of the target. And again, Bradford almost caught out with this uh, quick break. Both managers shunning uh, tracksuit bottoms as the uh, 
the call there starts to de de descend on us. Hey, almost got the ball past Yowds, but Yowds calmly to OK. Good play from Eddie Yowds. Cool play from the big number five. OK. Cool scar now. Drives the ball wide for uh, Wayne Jacobs. Bradford keeping possession. Well, after I said that, they do the dirty on me, give it away. That should go straight through to Gary Walsh. McGinley, unlucky, almost got the ball in and Warner. Oof, good play from the Liverpool. Ooh, that's, well, the Swindon defence looks a little bit frail there. The Bradford fans now behind the goal, roaring on their uh, their team. Yeah, quite rightly, Lawrence being held back. Good decision once again by Mr Buckley. Jamie Lawrence being held back, just a slight tug on the sleeve. Well spotted by uh, the man in black. Waiting for big Darren Moore. April of last year since he last scored. Ah, uh, well taken, keeper. Acrobatic leap by uh, Tony Warner, six foot four, but he held that very well. Good take. Moore getting back with Watson, but look at the strength of the man there. Comes away with the ball. Great play from Darren Moore, super play. Okay. Adino calmly back to Jamie Lawrence. Oh, lucky. Ball bouncing more to hand, but uh, I think the crowd helped to uh, get that decision then. Free kick to Swindon Town Just on this half. This near touch line. This is Cow trying to get round Yowds, holding up the ball. Big. Oh, cool play. I think my heart was coming up towards me out there, but it's Bigger now striding away with the ball, knocking it down for Adino into space. Adino being chased by Burrows. Burrows gets there first and puts it into touch. Tremendous play from Peter Bigger. Probably not in the coaching manner as far as defensive play is concerned, but uh, that's Peter. Ramage back to Bagri. Knocked in early. Too early and too high, so the ball just trumbles out of play on this side. Scar. Oh, played a one-two with Patty Moore, but oh, then telegraphed that ball and it's picked up now. But equally bad ball by uh, the number three, Ian Culverhouse. Ravage comes away with the ball in midfield to Adino, to Bagri. McGinley. Okay, over to Jacobs, support from Ramage. Cool scar. Ramage again. Bradford can't make any inroad, but Ramage. Oh, did good challenge from uh, McDonald. Given away. Ramage to McGinley. McGinley, nobody in support. There was nobody coming from midfield, so it's Swindon back in possession. Down the line, but Moore should get there first. Does do. Plays a one-two with Cow. Cool play from Darren Moore. McGinley. Ever busy, knocking the ball 
to Jacobs. Good header by Adino, bravely in by uh, Burrows. Giving away Adino now to McGinley. Foul on McGinley. No, says two. So free kick. Well, who knows? Bergen might have a go at this one. The Bradford fans in the opening end on their uh, on the feet. Oh, could it be Rami? We're not sure what's going to happen. The Swindon wall there, uh, just at the edge of the box. Oh, good effort. Well, a little bit of trickery there from Peter Bergery. He's, he dummied as if uh, he was going to allow Ramage to uh, have the ball, but then turned and put his shot just over the bar of Tony Warner's goal. So, effort there from Peter Bergery. That's three now that's, should we say, well been uh, inside the target, but uh, over the top, if you know what I mean. It's certainly been not been high, too high or too wide. It's a couple of good efforts from uh, Bergery. over an hour of the game gone and still Swindon, uh, Swindon Town holding on to this 1-0 lead Hey turning Darren Moore Hey showing a bit of uh, petulance here going to go into the book of the referee I'm not really sure why maybe something he has said but uh, Gets a yellow card. I'm not too happy with Mr. Buckler. But well, it's Gary Walsh with the kick. Okay, and with the uh, with a throw. Moore coming across. Side foots it forward towards McGinley. McGinley gets headed to Adino. Adino now. Oh, a good challenge by Patty Moore. Gooden. Bagri nicks the ball away from Watson. The crowd groans. Groans the, the own fans giving the ball away. Bagri back onto his left foot. Headed away by Burrows the ball good play by Moore had a late challenge by the number nine on Darren Moore This is Hay off, he's got to be, he's just been booked, so he's going. The red card for Chris Hay. Just booked him. <laughs> was it closed? Oh, oh, oh. Sorry, I've got me, uh, I've got me calls and me uh, Hay's wrong. It was Corey boot last time, it's Hay just then. My apologies, I must change these glasses, but uh, I thought he... <laughs> It was Steve Coe, actually, the scorer, who, who got boot the first time. Just a few minutes ago, I was... Uh, it was here that was doing the... the uh, gesturing with the uh, the hands and then... But it's Chris Hay that's just gone into Alan Buckler's boot for that uh, late, clumsy challenge on Darren Moore. Darren Moore, a colossus in the Bradford defence. Gingerly getting to his feet. Well, there's not much more to do in Swindon than sh shout cheat on a Saturday afternoon, so we'll forgive him for that. I believe it closes on a Wednesday, I was told in town. 
Swindon closes on a Wednesday into. <laughs> there, Rob, it's a free kick. Dallin Moore still gingerly testing his uh, his injured leg on the far side as Jacobs takes the kick. Good header away by Taylor. Good and now. Bradford down to ten men as uh, Good and taking John O'Kane on. And it comes off the number two and spins out for a corner. Well, I suppose you paid your money so you can say I'll do what you want, but uh, <laughs> these are grown people that probably holding down responsible jobs at every day of the week, but uh, Bagley with the header out. More. Moore breaking away to Kulskar. Inside for Adino. Back to O'Kane. Good break by Bradford. O'Kane, early ball in. Kulskar blocked by Burroughs. But Bigley on the far side. Patty Moore slides in. And it comes off Bigley. The youngster winning a throw in. No, it's got a bit, of, a bit of pressure there from Bradford, but uh, still not got nothing for their uh, troubles. As we're now approaching three quarter time, Bagri knocks it forward. McDonald underneath it. Bagri, good jump. And Sean Murray. It's coming on. And taken over from Craig Ramage. Craig has done sat in midfield and made one or two good forward the runs. But, uh, Jacobs. McGinley. Back to Bagri. Adino just managed to get a foot to that as uh, Patty Moore knocks it forward, but on his far as Jacobs. Moore, that's all he could do was to get a, his toe end to it. As Swindon now keeping possession in midfield. Well played, Darren Moore. Looks a little bit of misunderstanding, I think. Darren Moore expected the keeper to come all the way for it. He didn't do, so uh, just hasty clearance. Burrows. Taking on da uh, Sean Murray. Patty Moore again, back to uh, Gover House. And a throw in to Swindon. The Swindon fans uh, sensing a victory that will keep their team on top. They're starting to uh, find the voice in a little bit, but uh, still a long way to go in this game. Cow trying to get round Yout. Keeps possession well. Call the house. Low ball in. Looks easy intercepted. Bagri. And uh, a throw in on the far side. McDonald headed away by Jacobs. There's Murray volleying the ball towards McGinley. Adino. Oh, got Lawrence through. Good play by Adino. Oh, and he snatched at it. But brilliant play from their own half there by Bradford. Adino, neat footwork, but in the end, the little man spoiling it with that wild shot. Well wide of the target. More danger to the two cameramen than uh, Tony Warner and the Swindon goal. Bradford now pushing forward. He wants to uh, looking for this equaliser, which 
It's tantalising so near, but yet so far. <laughs> no, then. Peter Berger might get himself in trouble here for coming on the play on the field of play without. Uh, Dramatic gestures once again by Mr. Buckler. A free kick given for uh, sneaking up on the Swindon player there by Peter Bergery. Lawrence nicks the ball away. More. Oh, thanks very much, says the Swindon player. Oh, that ball played too, too far forward and rolls quickly off his line. Rolling the ball to uh, Wayne Jacobs. A slip there by McGinley, giving the ball back to uh, Swindon, who then immediately knocking into touch. So, for a team that's top of the division, I don't think there's too much worry for teams just below them because this is uh, this is certainly not a top of the table clash, not by a long way. Quickly turned throw for Adino. Burrows putting it into touch. Jacobs. Well, a little bit of, uh, excuse me, quick step there, and, uh, and up at the moment epitomises the the game in the second half. It's been a poor affair, really. No, neither keeper been anything like tested, and really. Not too much uh, football from either side. A lot of endeavour. A little bit of pools of excitement here or there, but uh, other than that, Swindon just about hanging on to this 1-0 lead as Lawrence just couldn't get into his stride, just uh, touched away by the number eight, Jason Drysdale, who's taking the throw. Throwing on this near side, Drysdale. Well, an up and under from uh, McDonald. One by Lawrence. Adino does well to retrieve that ball, but gives it back to Cow. Hey. Struggling to keep the ball in on the far side. Turns. And a goal kick. Good decision. Yeah, they're biased. They're biased, them people. Anyway, we've got a big Rob Steiner coming on. Adino making way for Robert Steiner. Adino, the last, uh, well, he scored the last two goals for uh, for Bradford in the 1-1 draw at Portsmouth and then the 1-0 win against Crew. But since then, with almost this game almost over now, Bradford have failed to find the net. So let's hope that uh, Big Rob can do something about it with his partner, John McGinley. Back to Walsh. Who puts him into touch on the far side. And that's Cole Scar getting in sharply on the, the far side. Gullscar in him once again, he's certainly been busy in the midfield as we're now coming up to uh, just over a quarter of an hour of the uh, the game left. Oh. 
Godden just outside the area being forced away still getting the ball in oh and that was a good ball played in by Godden Gary Wall stayed on his line and Chris A thankfully just couldn't rise high enough but uh, a good ball played in by uh, Walsh with the kick Moore allowing the ball to run into touch and with the game being off we see that Middlesbrough have uh, beat QPR 3-0 Sunderland and uh, Knox Forest have drawn 1-1 I suppose that was probably the draw of the day as Gary Walsh knocks his ball upfield towards Steiner comes off the head of uh, the number five, Craig Taylor. Well, I'll be warm for the, the Swindon fans. Crew have beaten Oxford 2 1. That's Lawrence battling against the two Swindon players, but uh, it's cleared upfield. Norwich have beat Birmingham 2 1. What a service I'm giving you today. A foul on the far side. Oh, this game now is just meandering along to the uh, the 90 minutes. As uh, Tony Warner, who's had a comparatively easy game, I would think that uh, he'd, he'd have had more problems in the, uh, the Liverpool A and reserve teams that he's had today because... Uh, both teams have virtually cancelled each other out. Not been too much excitement around the boxes, more in the first half than this half. Walsh hammers the ball upfield towards uh, Steiner. Steiner being held back by Taylor. So he's a horse round here, as I said, he's not not too much for either sets of supporters to really shout or scream about at the moment. Taylor hammers that ball forward, bit of route one stuff now coming from Swindon. Lawrence, good challenge by uh, Jamie Lawrence. Offside on Rob Steiner, yes. He should have had a look round the... Uh, the back, you're trying to. The idea was right, man. A good angle run, but caught offside. No argument with that one. Drysdale, it's always been available on this left hand side, on this. Far side to help his defence as Lawrence now controlling that ball well, but play on says the referee. And the ball comes off Drysdale. Who I was saying a moment ago, he's done a tremendous job down uh, deep, playing on a, a wide position as a, a stabiliser as Murray now. Knocks the ball in towards Bigley. Bigley with the header. Bigley taking centre track. Lawrence. But offside on uh, McGinley as Bigley bravely, knowing that the keeper was coming, still managed to get his header there, but uh, up on his feet. Well, a little bit of excitement there, almost uh, an equaliser. Certainly uh, got the Bradford fans up on the feet there. Eleven minutes of this game left. Yeah, was covering at the back. Left foot's upfield towards Steinem, beaten by the bounce. Good header by uh, Beagle. Gets it back off McGinley. Forward run from Sean Murray, but there's Taylor putting it into touch again. I'm to think that Steve McMahon has now put a message through that uh, 
Dougal looking too much for another one. Let's uh, let's stop Bradford from scoring as Murray plays this ball across field to John McKay. Okay, knocks it in right on the head of uh, McDonald, headed away by Drysdale. Well, that forward header by Moore right through to the keeper. Watson took over house. Watson again. Gordon. Well, Gordon scored. And the 3 1 win against Berry, but certainly want to go and trouble uh, Gary Walsh with that effort. The shot well outside the box and uh, wide of the target. Colescar just gets ahead to that. Lawrence allowing it to run, then gives it to OK, but a challenge by Drysdale once again. Certainly uh, stop the gallop of the, the flank players down this Bradford's right. Colescar. And still, Bradford can't find a way through this Swindon defence. Straight through to uh, Gary Walsh. And a quick throw out to Wayne Jacobs. <laughs> OK. Bradford now, we've got to go for Broke. Inside to Murray, Murray. Ah, oh, spoilt it. Had options, but uh, chose to have a shot from well out and being closed down. It's shot well wide of the target, but that was a good break by uh, for a good build up. And I'm sure Chris would like to see him now pushing forward. He's got to take that gamble. Warner taking his time with the kick. And the rain has started to fall here at uh, Swindon. Moore knocks it forward. Taylor underneath it, not put a foot wrong as the... Uh, oh, that was Burrows, rather. That looked like a foul on uh, Colescar, but right in front of the referee's nose, who ignores it. And Swindon keep possession with Culverhouse on the far side. Patty Moore back to Culverhouse. Well played. <laughs> Jacobs lashing it widely into the crowd. Well, I would think that's the last thing that Chris Kamara wants to see. The ball given away with uh, seconds ticking away. Hey. Rolls it inside, but uh, OK, she'll get there first. And plays the ball for... Lawrence, Lawrence now, beat chased by Gordon. And there's Taylor coming across to hammer the ball into touch. Just over 10,000 at the county ground. That's a cool scar to Murray. Wide for Wayne Jacobs. So a lot of blue shots in and around the penalty area. Bagri now taking on Culverhouse. Gets the ball in. Hammered away by McDonald. Sweeping it away. Yao's underneath it. McGinley. Well, that could be a dangerous kick, and I think, on uh, McGinley. Free kick, big chance now for Bradford. Bagri, can he deliver a good ball in? A lot of blue shirts about there. There's Murray battling for it in the box, but uh, good play by Patty Moore. Swindon breaking clear. Chris A knocking the ball downfield, but that should go 
through to Gary Walsh. Only just. Plays a ball for Jacobs. McGinley on his chest. Knocks a ball back for Murray. Looks a little bit uh, obstructional, that, but most of the uh, the own crowd's chagrin, it uh, wasn't given. Hey, now, stopped by Yowds. More, leaving it for Murray. More pushing forward. Wide for Steiner. Oh, brilliant play from Rob Steiner on the far side, stretching that big long leg. And then playing it back to Jacobs. Bagri, Colbow slides in, just does enough, and it's hammered upfield by Patty Moore. All simple, route one stuff now for Swindon. The ball into the, a deep ball. Won by Bagri. Foul by Bagri. Well, the fans are singing, we are top of the league, but to be totally honest, I cannot see how, dear me. Certainly, not a top of the league performance by Swindon Town. I suppose you can't deny him that position, but uh, I think I'd put uh, quite a bit of money on that they won't be there at the end of it. But I know there's a lot of teams would like to uh, change places with them at the moment, and I'm certainly sure that Bradford would like to... Uh, have what they've got, and that's a goal, and at the moment, three points. Murray being forced back. OK, giving it away. Untidy play here now in this closing minutes of this game here at County Ground. A foul on Gordon. Gordon, rather. Burrows coming to take the ball off Watson, the old time, and now showing the youngsters what they've got to do. But there's another youngster taking the Mickey just a little bit out of the extra offensive player. Well, anywhere will do with the second ticking away. Well, McGinley being forced to go looking for it in this half and a couple of tremendous efforts in the first half. Just now they widened the target. Bagri being all about by Culverhouse. Referee quickly in. First time ball for uh, Steiner. Steiner back to Bagri. Bagri taking on Culverhouse. And a corner won by Peter Bagri. Well, this is going to be the last chance for Bradford, I would say, with uh, approximately a minute and a half of time added on. Uh, sorry, a minute and a half of time left. Ball swung in. Yards with a header. Hammered away. Running money at the back. Chance for McGinley now. And there's the rescue. Challenged by uh, Drysdale. Good job he was there as McKinley was uh, McKinley was winding that right foot up. So another corner. Coolscar to take to the far post to the head of Yards. Knocked away. Murray underneath it. Plays it back for Coolscar now. Still a blue shirt. Stay up there. Ball in for Bigley. Murray, oh, got under it. Thought Bigley might have been better to have uh, had a go himself turn, but uh, wasn't to be. And I would say now that's the last chance 
for Bradford City. The 90 minutes almost up. The ball flies into touch at halfway. Oh, we're now playing time added on. Steiner turns, gives the ball away. Hey. The Swindon bench uh, claiming a throw in, naturally. And they're throwing Darren Moore up now for this closing seconds. Down the line for, for Moore. Moore wins it. Can we get him to keep it in? Well, he does do, but gives away a throw in. Time added on now by Mr. Buckler being played. The Bradford fans all on the on the feet. Well, that's been the highest and well kept in by Beagrey. Watson back to Patty Moore, hammers it downfield into space. Yowds with it. Back to his keeper. Well played, Walshie. And a good clearance set upfield towards Steiner. Lawrence oh, that was an elbow up there. That was a naughty challenge by uh, Taylor. Not spotted by the referee. Certainly came up with his elbow there. And it looks like a defeat for Bradford City. Their first in, uh, well, since the 1 4 1 defeat at Chalm. Seven games ago. In that time, they've, uh, they've drawn five and won two. Lawrence. Lawrence. Taking on Gordon. And a push by Lawrence. And I would think that's it now. So only. The last defeat was at uh, De Bakel at Charm, 4-1, but uh, lost here today to the leaders who, well, if this is the top of the division, I think there's a good chance for at least 17 or 18 of the teams in the nationwide division one. There's the full-time whistle. Nowhere near a cl classic performance at all. Poor performance, not a lot of excitement, most of it came in the first half. The only thing that divided the two teams was that tremendous strike from Steve Cow when he beat uh, Gary Walsh with a curling left foot in the top right-hand corner. Goalkeeper making his debut, kept a clean sheet, but really had nothing to do. Bradford often puffed for most of the second half without breaking down the, the Swindon defence. The chances at both ends really came in the first half with Big League going so close with a couple of chances and the new boy John McGinley almost opening his account with a good effort but here the final score of the county ground is Swindon Town 1, Bradford City 0.